It's important to understand, though, that the Many Strong Voices program does not include just the Arctic and northern periphery regions. It's a unique alliance between Arctic and small island developing states. Its aims are to ensure the well-being of these regions and to protect their cultures, economies, and environments in the face of climate change. The background to this program, it was launched at the UNFCCC meeting in December 2005 in Montreal, and it's presently coordinated by UNEP's GRID Arundel office. Arctic and SIDS are most severely affected by climate change, and socioculturally, the program is meant to provide a voice for local residents of these regions to be heard at international meetings and through international agendas. What are the goals of the program? The goals of the program are to build capacity to strengthen the role of these regions in negotiations on mitigation and climate change adaptation, to raise awareness about the effects of climate change on vulnerable regions, to increase understanding of needs and solutions, and to take action on adaptation. The outcomes of the workshop in Belize are a five-year action plan that will conduct a coastal impact assessment of Arctic and SIDS regions, the development of new climate change networks to facilitate the sharing of knowledge and best practices between vulnerable regions, and to support communities to devise concrete and community-relevant adaptation strategies and to develop communication tools that will ensure that people's voices are heard at interna international meetings such as here in Davos and in December in Bali. There are over 70 businesses right now in the, that have been participating in the program, and there have been a series of work packages that have looked at cooperative marketing, product development, greening, and transnational networking to share best practices between the different countries. As part of our scoping efforts in setting up this new program, over the last year we visited and worked with 12 companies uh, in the northern periphery region, and from these companies, as we've heard over the last two days, there has been an agenda and awareness to increase the understanding of visitors about the impacts of climate change uh, in the North Atlantic. We heard from Greenlandic dog sledding companies about changing snow, uh, snow conditions. We heard about retreating glaciers in Iceland and Greenland, the early uh, breakup of ice in northern Canada, severe weather events in northern Canada, small and medium tourism enterprises are not prepared to respond to climate change impacts. They're most vulnerable to impacts because they're the least flexible because of their size. Small and medium tourism enterprises need support from industry associations and government to implement action plans. So in conclusion, we hope that through this Many Strong Voices program and the research agenda over the next few year, uh, four years, we hope to set a rigorous research agenda to improve our understanding of businesses' adaptation to climate change through a holistic and system-based approach that looks at attractions and activities, both direct and indirect uh, transport and infrastructure, and audits that look at energy, waste, water, uh, purchasing policies and transport. Uh, we also will be exploring issues of diversification, increasing knowledge across the region, building partnerships, and implementing action plans at the local, regional, and national levels. Thank you very much.